African Jewish communities include Sephardi Jews and Mizrahi Jews living primarily in the Maghreb of North Africa, including Morocco, Algeria, Libya, and Tunisia, as well as Sudan and Egypt. Some were established early in the diaspora, others after the expulsion from Iberia in the late 15th century. South African Jews, who are mostly Ashkenazi Jews descended from pre- and post-Holocaust immigrant Lithuanian Jews. Beta Israel living primarily in the Amhara and Tigray regions of Ethiopia. Ancient communities the most ancient communities of African Jews are the Ethiopian, Sephardi, and Mizrahi Jews of North Africa and the Horn of Africa. In the 7th century, many Spanish Jews fled persecution under the Visigoths to North Africa, where they made their homes in the Byzantine-dominated cities along the Mediterranean coast. Others arrived after the expulsion from Iberia. Remnants of long-standing Jewish communities remain in Morocco, Tunisia, and the Spanish cities of Ceuta and Melilla. There is a much diminished but still vibrant community on the island of Jerba in Tunisia. Since 1948 and the war to establish Israel, which aroused hostility in Muslim lands, most other North African Jews emigrated to Israel. Of the 7th century immigrants, some moved inland and proselytized among the Berber tribes. A number of tribes, including the Jarawa, Ul Jari, and some tribes of the Dagatan people, converted to Judaism. Ibn Khaldun reported that Kahina, a female Berber warlord who led the resistance against the Muslim Arab conquests of North Africa in the 680s and 690s, was a Jew of the Jarawa tribe. With the defeat of the Berber rebellion, none of the Jewish communities was initially forced to convert to Islam. See also, Jewish exodus from Arab lands. Ethiopia. <inaudible> <inaudible> In 1975, the Israeli religious authorities and government recognized the Beta Israel of Ethiopia as legally Jewish. Hundreds of persons who wanted to emigrate to Israel were airlifted under the leadership of Prime Minister Menachem Begin. Begin had obtained an official ruling from the Israeli Sephardi chief rabbi or Rishon Letzion Ovadia Yosef that the Beta Israel were descendants of the Ten Lost Tribes. Rabbis believed they were probably descendants of the tribe of Dan. Rabbinical responsa discussing issues related to the people date back hundreds of years. With this endorsement, in later decades tens of thousands of Beta Israel Jews were airlifted to Israel. Significant immigration to Israel continues into the 21st century, producing an Ethiopian Jewish community of around 81,000 immigrants, who with their 39,000 children born in Israel itself, numbered around 120,000 by early 2009. Due to certain aspects of Orthodox Jewish marital laws, Rabbi Yosef ruled that upon arrival in Israel, the Beta Israel had to undergo a pro forma conversion to Judaism. They had to declare their allegiance to a halachic way of life and the Jewish people, in conformity with practices followed by Orthodox Rabbinical Judaism. He did not demand the normal formal requirements that the halacha imposes on potential Gentile proselytes, such as a Brit Millah or immersion in a mikvah. Few Ashkenazi rabbinic authorities consider the conversions to be actual conversions, not pro forma. Over time, due to their community's isolation from those in Europe and the Middle East, the practices of the Beta Israel developed to differ significantly from those of other forms of Judaism. In Ethiopia, the Beta Israel community was for the most part isolated from the Talmud. They did have their own oral law. In some cases, they had practices similar to those of Karaiti Judaism, and in others more similar to Rabbinical Judaism. In many instances their religious elders, or priestly class, known as Kesem or Kesach, interpreted the biblical law of the Tanakh in a way similar to the Rabbinite Jewish communities in other parts of the world. In that sense, the Beta Israel had a tradition analogous to that of the Talmud, although at times at variance with the practices and teachings of other Jewish communities. One significant difference is that the Beta Israel lacked the festivals of Purim and Hanukkah, probably because they branched off from the main body of Judaism before these non-biblical holidays began to be commemorated. Today, most members of the Beta Israel community living in Israel do observe these holidays. They are a community in transition. Some of the Kesem accept the rabbinic, Talmudic tradition that is practiced by non-Ethiopian Orthodox Jews. Many of the younger generation of Ethiopian Israelis have been educated in yeshivas and received rabbinical ordination 
A certain segment of traditionalist Kesem insist on maintaining their separate and distinct form of Judaism, as it had been practiced in Ethiopia and Eritrea. Many of the Ethiopian Jewish youth who have immigrated to Israel or been born there have assimilated either to the dominant form of Orthodox Judaism, or to a secular lifestyle. The Beit Avraham of Ethiopia have some 50,000 members. This community also claims Jewish heritage. Several scholars think that they broke off from the Beta Israel community several centuries ago, hid their Jewish customs, and outwardly adopted Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity. Beit Avraham have traditionally been on the lower rungs of Ethiopian social life. They have held occupations similar to those of the Beta Israel, such as crafts. Recently, the Beit Avraham community has attempted to reach out to the world Jewish community. They formed the Ethiopian North Shiwa Zionist organization in an attempt to save their Jewish identity. This group identifies as the Falashmura. As they do not have reliable proof of Jewish ancestry, Israeli religious authorities and other religious Jewish communities require them to complete a formal conversion to be recognized as Jews. Those who do so are considered converts. Topic. Somalia. The Yibir are a tribe that lives in Somalia, eastern Ethiopia, Djibouti, and northern Kenya. Though they have been Muslim for centuries, some of them assert they are descendants of Hebrews who arrived in the Horn of Africa long before the arrival of Somali nomads. These individuals assert that Yibir means Hebrew. In their language, outside the Yibir, there is essentially no known current or historic Jewish community in Somalia. Balad el Sudan Topic. The historical presence of Jewish communities in Africa is well attested. Today, the descendants of these Jews live in nations such as Sierra Leone, Liberia, Senegal, Ghana, Nigeria, and many other areas. According to the 17th century Tariq al Fatash and the Tariq al Sudan, several Jewish communities existed as parts of the Ghana, Mali, and later Songhai empires. One such community was formed by a group of Egyptian Jews, who allegedly traveled by way of the Sahel Corridor through Chad into Mali. Manuscript C of the Tariq al Fatash described a community called the Bani Israel. In 1402, it lived in Tindirma, possessed 333 wells, and had seven princes as well as an army. Another such community was that of the Zuwa ruler of Kukia, located at the Niger River. His name was known only as Zuwa al Yaman, meaning, he comes from Yemen. According to an isolated local legend, Zuwa al Yaman was a member of one of the Jewish communities transported from Yemen by Abyssinians in the 6th century CE after the defeat of Du Nuwas. Zuwa al Yaman was said to have traveled into West Africa along with his brother. They established a community in Kukia at the banks of the Niger River downstream from Gao. According to the Tariq al Sudan, after Zuwa al Yaman, there were 14 Zuwa rulers of Gao before the rise of Islam in the second half of the 11th century. Other sources stated that other Jewish communities in the region developed from people who migrated from Morocco and Egypt, others later came from Portugal. Some communities were said to have been populated by certain Berber Jews, like a group of Tuareg known as Dasahak or Iddao Ishak children of Isaac. They speak a language related to Songhai, live in Manaka region in northeastern Mali and were formerly herders for Tuareg nobles. In addition, some migrated into the area away from the Muslim rule of North Africa. The well-known 16th-century geographer Leo Africanus, an Andalusian Berber convert to Christianity, mentions a mysterious small village of African Jews southwest of Timbuktu, who traded in exotic spices, weapons, and poisons citation needed. <laughs> Medieval arrivals North Africa and the Maghreb Topic. The largest influx of Jews to Africa came after the Spanish Inquisition after the fall of Granada and the end of Islamic Spain. The mass exodus and expulsion of the Iberian Jews began in 1492, Sicilian Jews were affected soon afterwards. Many of these Sephardi Jews settled primarily in the Maghreb under Muslim and Ottoman patronage. Morocco, Tunisia and Algeria as well as Egypt became home to significant Jewish communities. 
These communities were later incorporated into the Ottoman millet system as Africanized Ottoman Jews, bound by the laws of the Talmud and Torah but with allegiance to the Caliph of Constantinople. Tanzania The Niambo are a tribe that lives in Tanzania, northern Tanzania, and southern Uganda as Ankol. Though they have been Christians for centuries, they assert they are descendants of Hebrews who arrived in the Horn of Africa long before the arrival of Somali nomads. Some say that Niambo means Hebrew in their language. Mali in the 14th century many Moors and Jews, fleeing persecution in Spain, migrated south to the Timbuktu area, at that time part of the Songhai Empire. Among them was the Kahath family, descended from Ismail Jan Khat al-Yahudi of Sheeta, Morocco. Sons of this prominent family founded three villages that still exist near Timbuktu. Kershamba, Habomo, and Kongugara. In 1492, Askia Muhammad came to power in the previously tolerant region of Timbuktu and decreed that Jews must convert to Islam or leave. Judaism became illegal in Mali, as it did in Catholic Spain that same year. As the historian Leo Africanus wrote in 1526, The king Askia is a declared enemy of the Jews. He will not allow any to live in the city. If he hears it said that a Berber merchant frequents them or does business with them, he confiscates his goods." The Kahath family converted with the rest of the non-Muslim population. The Cohens, descended from the Moroccan Islamicized Jewish trader Lhadj Abd al-Salam al kuhan arrived in the Timbuktu area in the 18th century, and the Abana family came in the first half of the 19th century. According to Professor. Michel Abbottball, at the Center for the Research of Moroccan Jewry in Israel, in the late 19th century Rabbi Mordash Abai Seror traveled to Timbuktu several times as a not-too-successful trader in ostrich feathers and ivory. Ismail Diadi Haidara, a historian from Timbuktu, has found old Hebrew texts among the city's historical records. He has also researched his own past and discovered that he is descended from the Moroccan Jewish traders of the Abana family. As he interviewed elders in the villages of his relatives, he has discovered that knowledge of the family's Jewish identity has been preserved, in secret, out of fear of persecution. Sao Tome e Principe King Manuel I of Portugal exiled about 2,000 Jewish children under the age of 10, to Sao Tome and Principe around 1500. Most died, but in the early 17th century, the local bishop noted with disgust that there were still Jewish observances on the island and returned to Portugal because of his frustration with them. Although Jewish practices faded over subsequent centuries, there are people in Sao Tome and Principe who are aware of partial descent from this population. Similarly, a number of Portuguese ethnic Jews were exiled to Sao Tome after forced conversions to Roman Catholicism. Topic. Modern communities Topic. Topic. Madagascar Topic. A small community of Malagasy's began practicing Judaism in 2010, and three separate communities formed, each embracing a different wave of Jewish spiritual practice. In May 2016, 121 members of the Malagasy Jewish community were converted in accordance with traditional Jewish rituals, appearing before a Beit Din and submerged in a mikveh. The conversion, organized with the help of the Jewish organization Kalanu, was presided over by three Orthodox rabbis. <inaudible> Ivory Coast Communities have been forming in Ivory Coast in recent years and have been slowly growing throughout the region. The capital city of Abidjan has two synagogues, each with a population of about 40 to 70 congregants. In addition, large groups of indigenous peoples referred to as Danites claim descent from the lost tribe of Dan and many from this ethnic group have shown interest in Judaic practices. Cameroon. Topic. Rabbi Yisrael Oriel, formerly Bodil Nagimbus Nagimbus, was born into the Basa tribe. 
He says there were historically Jews in the area and that the word ba -sa is from the Hebrew for on a journey and means blessing. Rabbi Oriel claims to be a Levite descended from Moses and reportedly made Aliyah in 1988, and he was then apparently ordained as a rabbi by the Sephardic chief rabbi and appointed rabbi to Nigerian Jews. Rabbi Oriel claims that in 1920 there were 400,000 Israelites in Cameroon, but by 1962 the number had decreased to 167,000 due to conversions to Christianity and Islam. He said that although these tribes had not been accepted halachically, he believes that he can prove their Jewish status from medieval rabbinic sources. The father of Yafit Koto, an American actor, was a Cameroonian Jew. Koto identifies as Jewish. Ghana The House of Israel community of Sefwi Wauso, Sefwi Sue and Gaz in the western and southern region of Ghana claim that their ancestors are descendants of Jews who migrated south through Egypt. The practice of Judaism in this community, however, dates back to only the early 1970s. Kenya. A small emergent community has been forming in Laikipia County, Kenya, abandoning Christianity in exchange for Judaism. There are an estimated 5,000 of them at the present time. Although at first messianic, they concluded that their beliefs were incompatible with Christianity and are now waiting to be instructed in traditional Judaism. Some of the younger children of this community have been sent to the Abayudaya schools in Uganda to be instructed in Judaism and other subjects. Nigeria The Igbo Jews of Nigeria are among the Igbo ethnic group. Certain Nigerian communities with Judaic practices have been receiving help from individual Israelis and American Jews who work in Nigeria with outreach organizations like Kalanu. The number of Igbos in Nigeria who identify as Jews has been estimated at around 4,000, with 70 synagogues. Many have converted from Christianity. Other sources put a higher figure, claiming some 30,000 Igbos were practicing some form of Judaism in 2008. <inaudible> Uganda In a relatively new movement, the Abayudaya of Uganda have converted to Judaism since 1917, influenced by the American William Saunders Crowda, who said that African Americans were descended from the Jews. Zambia A number of European Jews settled in northern Rhodesia now Zambia. At its peak in the early 1960s, there were 1,000 Jews living in the country, many in Livingstone. The number began to fall after independence and there were estimated to be around 50 remaining by 2012. Zimbabwe. Topic. See History of the Jews in Zimbabwe topic. Lemba and Remba topic. Many Lemba Jews are adherents of Christianity and Islam. They speak the Bantu languages spoken by their geographic neighbors and resemble them physically, but they have some religious practices and beliefs similar to those in Judaism and Islam, which they claim were transmitted by oral tradition. They have a tradition of ancient Jewish or South Arabian descent through their male line. Genetic Y DNA analyses in the 2000s have established a partially Middle Eastern origin for a portion of the male Lemba population. More recent research argues that DNA studies do not support claims for a specifically Jewish genetic heritage. Anglo-Jews The Zimbabwe Jewish community was of British citizenship, and established with the first white colonists in the 1890s. At its peak in the early 1970s, it numbered some 7,500 people 80% were of Ashkenazi descent, who lived primarily in the two communities of Salisbury and Bulawayo. Smaller rural communities also existed for short periods in KK, Umtali and Gatuma. The community declined in part due to age, but most Jewish residents in Zimbabwe left after violence and social disruption. 
In 2007, the local Jewish community had declined to 270. The community had strong links with Israel. In 2003, the Bulawayo Shul was burnt down in an anti-Semitic act of violence. Topic. Mauritius Topic. According to the 2011 census carried out by Statistics Mauritius, there are 43 Jews in Mauritius. Topic. Jewish arrivals from Europe Topic. South Africa has a substantial, mostly Ashkenazi Jewish community. They and their ancestors immigrated mostly from Lithuania prior to World War II, although some immigrated from Britain, Germany, and Eastern Europe. To a lesser extent, Sephardic Jews, primarily originating from the island of Rhodes, also settled in sub-Saharan Africa, in territories such as the Belgian Congo. Subsequently, members of these Jewish communities migrated to South Africa. See History of the Jews in South Africa. Small European Jewish communities developed during the colonial years in Namibia, Southwest Africa, Zimbabwe, Southern Rhodesia, Lesotho, Basutoland, Swaziland, Botswana, Bichwanaland, Zaire, Belgian Congo, mostly Sephardim, Kenya, Malawi, Nyasaland, and Zambia, Northern Rhodesia. The communities, usually based in the capitals of these countries, established synagogues and often formal Jewish schools. There was a Jewish community in Maputo, Mozambique but, after the independence of the country, most left. The government has officially returned the Maputo synagogue to the Jewish community, but, "...little or no Jewish community remains to reclaim it." See also Topic. Madagascar Plan Who is a Jew? British Uganda Program, a British idea to create a Jewish homeland in East Africa List of Jews from Sub-Saharan Africa Moroccan Citroen Topic. Notes and references Topic. Topic. Further reading Topic. Topic. General Topic. Blady, Ken, Jewish Communities in Exotic Places, Jerusalem, Jason Aronson. Bruder, Edith, Black Jews of Africa, Oxford 2008. Korinsky, Samuel, Jews in Africa, Ancient Black African Relations, Fact Paper 19ii. Dirk Lang. Origin of the Yoruba and the Lost Tribes of Israel, Anthropos, 106, 2011, 579-595. Primak, Karen, Jews in Places You Never Thought of, KTAV Publishing, ISBN 0-88125-608-0. Rosenthal, Monroe and Isaac Moseson, Wars of the Jews, A Military History from Biblical to Modern Times, New York, Hippocrene Books, 1990. Sand, J. The Jews of Africa. Image Magazine, 5 May 2009 Williams, Joseph J., Hebrewisms of West Africa, From Nile to Niger with the Jews, New York, The Dial Press, 1931. History of the Zimbabwe Jewish Community Topic. Northern Africa Topic. Israel, Jonathan I. The Jews of Spanish North Africa 1580-1669. In Diasporas Within a Diaspora, Jews, Crypto-Jews, and the World of Maritime Empires 1540-1740. Leiden, Brill 2002, pp. 151-184. Israel, Jonathan I. Piracy, Trade and Religion, The Jewish Role in the Rise of the Muslim Corsair Republic of Salah In Diasporas Within a Diaspora, Jews, Crypto-Jews, and the World of Maritime Empires 1540-1740. Leiden, Brill 2002, pp. 291-312. Israel, Jonathan I. Tangiers, Sephardic Jewry and English Imperial Ambitions in the Maghreb 1661 
In diasporas within a diaspora, Jews, crypto-Jews, and the world of maritime empires 1540 Leiden, Brill 2002, pp. 421–448. Jews in Africa, Part 1 The Berbers and the Jews, by Sam Tominsky Hebrew History Federation Tariq S. Soden, Paris, 1900, by Abderrahman ben Abdal S. Sadi Trad. O. Hodas the Jews of Timbuktu, Washington Jewish Week, 30 December 1999, by Rick Gold Les Juifs à Tombouctou, or Jews of Timbuktu, Rekil de Sources Akrites Relatives au Commerce Juif à Tombouctou au Xixe siècle, Editions Dania, Bamako, 1999 by Professor Ismail Diadi Haidara Topic. West Africa Topic. Mark, Peter and José da Silva Horta, The Forgotten Diaspora, Jewish Communities in West Africa and the Making of the Atlantic World. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press 2011. Topic. Nigeria Topic. Remy Alona, Ebos, Jews in Africa, Volume 1, Mega Press Limited, Abuja, Nigeria, 2004. Charles K. Meek, Northern Tribes of Nigeria, Volume 1, Oxford, p. 66. Canon K. Nair, Origins and Development of Efic Settlements in Southeastern Nigeria. 1 Ohio University, Center for International, 1975. Ease Okafor Ogbaji, Jews of Nigeria, The Aero Empire. Topic. Cape Verde and Guinea Coast. Topic. Richard Laban, Jews in Cape Verde and on the Guinea Coast, paper presented at the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth, the 11th of February 1996. Topic Ethiopia Topic Stigma Gojjam, The Abyssinian Pariah Oritz, Gihon Books, University of Geneva, 1993, by Muse Tegenya Topic External links Topic Goran, Howard Rabbi, Site about travels amongst Nigeria's and Uganda's Jews Matty Weitzman, Bruce, Jews and Berbers, Sand, J, Site about African Jews ISSAJ, International Society for the Study of African Jewry Scattered Among the Nations The Awakening and In Gathering of the IBO's History of the Jewish Community in Ghana Shabbat in Ghana